Hello angels, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a mukbang, but there is an electrician walking around in my house and I'm so embarrassed. But anyway, I'm gonna film a mukbang for you guys. I'm eating some Thai food and I'm gonna be answering some questions. So I'm just gonna go right ahead. So I did get Dr. Pepper as well because I love Dr. Pepper. I'm just so embarrassed. And some red curry chicken. So let's. Okay, so the first question, let me just eat something first. I feel like you need to have like a microphone so you can hear all the chewing sounds, but I don't know that. So the first question, there's three questions. Any trips planned? Um, not for the moment. I do want to go to New York for my birthday, but um, no one is free to come with me. So if you'd like to join me in New York, please come in October. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the only thing that I'm kind of planning. Um, otherwise, I do want to go to EDC Las Vegas next year as well, but that hasn't been planned before yet. But definitely, uh, definitely want to go back to America. That's my main plan for the next year or so. Um, how do you cope mentally with a full-time routine? This is actually really good timing for this question because um, I'm not. <laughs> um, To be honest, at the moment, I am finding full time really hard purely because um, I only get like one day off at a time. So I get two days off a week, but they're not usually together except for one week. And um, I'm just finding it hard because I'm putting so much more onto my plate with YouTube, going to the gym, training. Um, And all that kind of stuff. I am finding it a little bit hard at the moment, but the main thing to cope with any routine is um, just looking after yourself and knowing when to stop and when not to push yourself and when to push yourself. So listen to your body. Like yesterday, I had the day off um, and I, you know, plan to get up at seven, get up and do my day as normal, I don't like what's sleeping in, but I was so tired and I slept until 10.30 um, or like 11 even, 10, I don't know, but even just then like you have to listen to your body and know when your body needs to rest because um, on my days off I'm busy editing and filming videos, I'm not really relaxing and then I go to work and then after work I go to the gym, so yeah, the main thing is definitely just looking after yourself and knowing when you need to actually rest. If that means you miss the gym for a day, it means you miss the gym. If that means I miss an upload for the week, like, that's just what happens. But, yeah. 
any boys. Um, no. <laughs> um, as much as I would love a hot guy to comment on my Instagram photos and tell me I'm pretty, um, being single is like literally the best thing ever. <clears throat> I've always been someone that has hated being single um, and has always wanted to be in a relationship or be with someone but at this time of my life I am literally loving being single. Um, yeah, it means I can do everything not having to worry about any attachments. Uh, yeah, not having to worry about any attachments. It means I can go away without having to plan a holiday with someone who, you know, may or not be able to go away. Um, I can go away with friends without worrying about, am I going to miss them? What are they going to do while I'm not here? Like, stuff like that. Like, I have some plans for next year and I wouldn't be able to do that if I was in a relationship. So, as much as I love boys, I'm happy with that one for the minute. Would you ever become a vegan from Sarah? Um, that's a strong no. And I'm not gonna tell you why, because I will have people hate me. And I don't want that. But no, and I have my own reasons as to why. But yeah, I'm not gonna get into it, because that is a heated debate. What made you wanna start a YouTube channel? Um, I've always been very into editing and making little films and stuff. If you scroll way back on my Instagram, you'll see these little like films that I used to make when I was out with friends um, and stuff like that. And so I used to love doing that. And then when I realized that actually like YouTube was a thing and like doing editing and, and makeup at the time was like an actual career. I was like, oh, I have to do that. Um, and I guess I always just kind of talked to myself while I was doing my makeup anyway. So being able to combine like the editing aspect with makeup at the time was so fun for me. Um, and now I just love it. I love talking to a camera, like as weird as it sounds, I love waking up on my days off and vlogging and like, Having some, having some platform to share everything that I'm doing with, I'm such an oversharer. So if I can share it with a video rather than boring, like with people who want to watch it rather than me just putting it on my Instagram story or something, I do that anyway, but I like oversharing. So I figured a YouTube channel was the way to go. Someone said, what is a mukbang? Um, literally, when you sit down and eat on camera for no good reason. I feel like in these videos everyone always eats like a pig, so sorry if I'm eating like a pig, but Whew, I'm getting sweaty. How how cannibalism would solve both world hunger and overpopulation? Well, I guess it would say solve hunger because everyone would be eating each other and then overpopulation because you'd be cutting out everyone but then wouldn't everyone just die? Wouldn't there be like the last cannibal standing? Oh my god. Uh, that is so good. How do you get your makeup so flawless? Thank you. Um, I would say the most important thing is definitely skincare. Making sure that I've prepped my skin properly, uh, exfoliated, hydrated, all that kind of stuff. And then I put a lot of pressure on my primers to do the right trick. Um, so my Becca primers, I love them. I find them, they make the most perfect base for any makeup. Um, but definitely finding a foundation that suits you um, and not wearing something that's super matte purely because I think matte emphasizes um, impurities, texture, all that kind of stuff. So 
a little bit on the dewy side, even if you don't want it to be fully dewy. A little bit more glowy um, primers and a lot of skincare. Um, Alright, my goals for the end of the year. Um, my main goal for the, for the for this year is to actually sort my life out and figure out what I'm going to be doing next year. Um, whether it be going to study, whether it be moving. Um, I think I really need to actually sort my life out and figure out what my my bigger plan is. So that's definitely a goal for the end of the year. Um, I want to be able to do a chin up by the end of the year, but I'm hoping I'll be able to do that in a couple of weeks. Um, I want to start hitting some more training goals and setting some actual training goals, but I do want to be. Actually, I want to be ready for Ninja Warrior by the end of the year. I really want to go on Ninja Warrior. Um, that's about it, really. I haven't really set any major goals because I need to figure out what I'm doing with my life first. The most challenging thing that happened this year, well, As cliche as it sounds, the most challenging thing oh, I've got food in my mouth. that happened to me this year was definitely um, breaking up with Dylan. Um, yeah, that was obviously really difficult. Um, obviously, when you think you're going to spend the rest of your life with someone um, and that gets turned around, it can really throw you off balance a little bit. Um, I know that's really young age to think that you're going to spend the rest of your life with someone. Sorry. I know it's a really young age to say that you're going to spend the rest of your life with someone, but when you meet your soulmate, things like that kind of happen. So that was definitely really challenging, the thought of us maybe not being together. Hello! Um, yeah, but that was definitely the most challenging thing from this year. The most rewarding thing that happened this year was probably the same thing, and purely because it taught me a lot of things about myself that I needed to learn and about yeah just about myself and life and um, definitely a few lessons that needed to be learned um, so if you take it like that into a positive thing then it definitely can be one of the most rewarding things that happen um, Celeb crush. My celeb crush at the moment is definitely Dacro Montgomery from Stranger Things, but I have a lot of celeb crushes, so that's a hard one, but at the moment, definitely Dacro. Helen says, something that we don't know about you, so I don't know what this would be. Um, she says we, but my family and my followers know different things. I think one of the main things would be that I'm extremely OCD about a lot of things, um, which is why I always have nails on because if I don't have nails then I pick at everything or like my arms or my face. So at the moment I have no nails on and I've already got like four scabs on my face from picking things so I have OCD tendencies like that. Um, what else? Probably just that I'm an extremely awkward person. Um, yeah, I feel like there should be something more juicy, but I can't think of anything. The most embarrassing situation you've ever been in. There is too many to count. Like, a lot. Um, there has been a couple, but one that I'm thinking of is when we as a family were in Switzerland and we were getting a train somewhere and we got on this carriage and my brother was like, oh, like this is first class, like we're not in this carriage and we were 
we were all like, no, it's not, sit down and relax. And like, it had all these features and stuff. And my brother was like, no, like, we're in first class, we need to leave. Because my brother's like, even more socially, like, has more social anxiety than I do. And we were all like, it's fine, it's fine, just sit down. Anyway, the guy comes around to check our tickets. And, um, um, turns out we were sitting in, sitting in first, first class. Um, so then we had to all, with our luggage, there were seven of us, wheel all of our luggage down to the back of the train through like a dining car where the tables were like round and like this. So we literally were like weaving in and out of the tables. Um, that was probably my brother's most embarrassing moment, but that just is one that comes to mind when I think about it because it's actually hilarious. Um, it was kind of a big there moment, but anyway. Um, what would you tell 15 year old Jen if you could go back in time? Um, make yourself happy. Don't be dependent on other people. Did I say this in my last Q&A? I don't know, but don't be dependent on other people. Um, be responsible for your own happiness. I think that's really important and something that I have learned this year. Um, other people can't make you happy. If they do, then that's like, you gotta be happy without them kind of thing. Um, I think that you really have to focus on making yourself happy first before you can let anyone else make you happy. I think that's really important. Um, you can only buy clothes from one store. Money isn't a limit for the rest of your life. What is it? Ooh, that's hard. One store. Um, I'd maybe just say like Princess Polly because they have a lot of brands. Is that allowed? Or probably just like General Pants or Universal to be honest. One of those like skate wear shops. <laughs> That's all I really wear. I would say like Dior or something, but I don't wear clothes like that. So I'd probably just say General Pants, Princess Polly, or Universal Store. <laughs> Makeup or fashion trends you want to die? Oh. Makeup trends, that stupid, um, like, the dripping face thing with like the white underneath the dripping face and rainbow eyes like that is so overdone needs to stop um the whole james charles rainbow eyes thing i love rainbow eyes don't get me wrong but that whole only sure you're an artist that needs to stop that's a problem um other makeup trends to be honest i'm loving makeup trends at the moment because i'm really loving um like a really natural glossy look um, I think those like UK makeup artists, don't get me wrong, they're so talented, but those intense like rainbow cut creases and stuff, I think they're just too much. Um, the talent is amazing, but just no. What was your high school experience like? Um, I don't really like school. Um, I had a great group of friends. I ended up liking most of the subjects that I did, but school in general, not really my thing. Also, um, butted heads with a lot of the people in the guy group that we were friends with, even though I'm friends with them now, but had a lot of issues there. So, not great really. Um, influences, being one, etc. I mean, obviously, here I am trying to be an influencer, so that's my opinion on them. But I think that there's a lot of influencers who don't deserve to be where they are. I think the most important thing about being an influencer is that you have a platform to make a positive change. And I think a lot of the people who have this massive following, they just sit on that and they use it to 
you know, obviously it's a <coughs> great platform to start a business and whatever, but they just, they just, like, put out one video a month and don't really care about their following once they get there. I think that it's really important that you have a platform, you have all these people that follow you and that are influenced by you, use it to do a positive change, if you know what I mean. Like, use it to get people to be more environmentally mentally friendly or something like that. Just, you influence people, that is your job. And I think that if you sit there and influence people to I don't know, like just use it for a positive thing, which is what I want to do if I ever got to a place. I would use it to spread positivity and influence in a positive way, if that makes sense. And the last question says, you're amazing Euro trip and leader. My Europe trip was amazing, Casey, my top deck tour leader. Um, lots of fun. Broken hand. <laughs> um, lots of alcohol. All around good time. And Casey was the best tour leader if you ever do a top deck. I hope that you get her as your tour leader. Um, but that is all the questions and I have eaten a lot of this food. My mum did help me out a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my god, I just spat everywhere. I'll definitely be filming more videos like this because this was fun. Um, so make sure you give this a thumbs up if you want to see more and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!